When it comes to hair clippers, Wild definitely make the best clipper on the market. The main reason being is the hard carbon metal blades. They stay sharper longer and give you a much more even cut. Best thing to do when you first start clipping with, with your new set of clippers is put a couple drops of oil on before you start. Just put a drop on the front part there and of course on that side there. Two is always best to start off with. Um, best way to put your guides on is to always put the front on first and let it clip into place like so. It's very easy to do and that way it'll stay on nice and strong. As you run it through the hair, just keep it nice and flat against, that, against the scalp as you run it through. These, these clippers are actually very quiet yet very, very powerful. When it comes to trimming around the ears, Wild do have a guide inside the bag that allows you to do this much more easily. All you do is you clip it on the same way you would the normal guides. Just put it on the front first and then clip it into the back, getting that nice little snap, make sure it's in place properly. So basically all you do with that, turn your clipper on and run it through the hair just at a nice pace, just to get that nice even cut. Let the, blade, let the blades do all the work for you basically. Makes it nice and easy and uh, gets a nice even cut around those ears. When it comes to trimming around the back of the neck and of course the sideburns, all you basically do is take the guides off and use it straight onto the blade like so. You do have a lever on the side here, which basically levers up and down. It is best to keep the lever in the front position, that way the blades are nice and close together. The lever when it's in the far position is more for thinning the hair uh, when you've got the guide on. Basically what you do is so put that in the right position, then start trimming up to where you basically want the sideburns to finish and just keep it nice and straight and even while you do that. Same thing on the back of the neck, just run it through as, as you're shaving upwards and just keep that nice straight motion to keep the back of the neck nice and neat. Once you are done trimming, it is best to use some sort of moisturiser or aftershave balm. Basically what that does is just calms the skin down, alleviating any sort of redness that you might have. Once you have done your clipping, it is always best practice to keep the, the hair clipper nice and clean and hair free. Best way to do that is of course just brush off the blades just in a nice easy motion just cross like that. It's best to brush both sides off just to make sure that hair is gone. Next thing to do once you have uh, of course got rid of all that hair is just put a couple drops of oil just to make sure that the blades are properly maintained before storage. And there we have some great tips on how to maintain and use your hair clippers for many years use. If you do have any more questions whatsoever come in and speak to one of our experts at a shaver shop store near you.